Hey, what's up, fam? Uh, so, I want to do this real quick. I'm going to make a series of videos, and these videos are going to, I'm hoping they're going to help you and assist you what you believe as you are experiencing things as a Christian, okay? Um, one of the things, that I've written some stuff, I want to make sure that I say this, is many of you who are Christ Jesus followers, you're looking at your world right now. You don't know how to bridge what you believe about the Son of God compared to what you are experiencing in the world. And I completely understand that. Completely, I do. Okay, I really do. It's really sad. Uh, how do you make your faith in Jesus Christ and what you've been taught from the Word of God show itself in your conduct toward others, especially in a time of turmoil and, sh and social unrest? It's, it's the truth, okay? What if, for whatever reason, your, leaser, your leaders haven't broken down the basics of faith for you so that you understand how to study and then to make those things real and practice, okay? What if you just haven't been you know, taught all that? Well, if you're not equipped with the shield of wisdom in this, you're basically not gonna be able to discern what to do and what to do next, okay? So in times like these, your conduct needs to match what you study. But if there's a difference there in, what, in the bridge and what you study and not equating to what you actually do, then there's a faith issue there, okay? These are real battles and I can empathize, really. I seriously can. So I want to stand in the gap for you to assist you. I wanna be there for you. I wanna help you cross that bridge between what you believe or what you say and how you act so that your faith in theory and study matches what you practice, say, and do. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of definitions here, okay? Um, but I'm gonna do it over a course of series. And first one's gonna be Christology. Christology is the study of Christ Jesus as the Son of God, okay? So when you study Christology, what you're saying is, I wanna know who Jesus Christ is as is written in the Bible. And what's written in the Bible tells specifically of who Christ actually is. He's the Son of God. And I've basically given you some of those verses on Bible Gateway and the link that's attached to uh, this post. Now, what I want you to do is, though, I want you to understand, when you have a high Christology, that means that you believe Christ to be the Son of God. That means that in your study, in your theory, you believe him to be the Son of God. Now, people who have a low Christology are those who just believe he might have been a prophet, he might have been a holy man like anybody else that might have been a holy person, whatever. Everybody, I mean, he, they may never believe he even existed, okay? He actually, they're just, he might have just been a historical figure. Well, if you have a low Christology, then your study of him has been pretty much limited, and you basically negated actually what the Bible actually says. So you have both of these studies and theories here. Now on this side, this side you have a high Christology which says, high Christology says in practice, if he's the son of God, then he takes away the sin of the world. And that sin will be any sin, okay? Whether it be prejudice, discrimination, uh, whether it be um, whatever out there, okay? And you believe that, and, that's, and that actually shows in how you treat people and honor people. Now, if you have a low Christology, your ideas, beliefs, and theory about Christ Jesus are not matched by what your theory is in other things, then Jesus Christ is not superior to those other things. And the reason why I say this is this, okay? You might have a high Christology over here, but your practice is low. And I'll give you an example. There's people out there who are Christian, who have glommed onto some of the social justice movements out there and are actually using terms like white privilege and the, and the like. Now, there's a low Christology draft in that bridge, okay? Because if you understand who Jesus Christ is, you understand that their sin is individual. It's not collective, it's not a group sin. Okay, it's in the individual. Jesus Christ didn't come here to judge in, I know, a whole groups of people and say that you've all sinned, whatever. Okay, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but it's individual. That's actually a very important thing. Now, the way that it's bridged, though, if you have a high Christology in study, but the low Christology in practice, is that people still owe something to somebody else. There's a prejudice that goes either way. And so if you can say that, you know, so-and-so's got white privilege or you've got, you know, so I'm a victim of whatever, what you're saying is Jesus Christ didn't forgive that sin. Jesus Christ cannot take care of these things that are in the world, and I need to do it myself. And you become a judge on your own against these people groups, okay? So what does that mean? It means that not only are you not practicing what you believe, but it also means that you are dictating what should come of this despite what you supposedly believe about Christ. Now, if you have a low Christology in study and theory, but then you have a low Christology also in practice, well, basically, you've basically negated the truth of the gospel that Christ came here to save everyone. It doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter where they're from. It doesn't matter what they, you know, their ethnicity or their nationality. It doesn't matter. Everybody here has fallen short of the glory of God. Now, the way that we want to practice is have a high Christology in study and theory, but also a high Christology in practice, which means that every single individual is responsible for their sin. 
And you cannot, you know, look at whole groups and say, well, you are this because I believe that about you. It's no. I look at you as a child of God because you are an image bearer of God. And I understand that Christ created you, God created you by this power for this purpose, for his own purposes. And you look the way you do because, you know, in the beginning God created. Well, God created everybody. And everybody here has a significance despite what they look like. All right. So if you have a high Christology in that, you understand that all these people that are out there, they're image, image bearers of God. And despite everything, every single person carries that in them. And you honor people in that. Now, how you dishonor people is by making them responsible for things that they didn't do, by claiming that they actually have sin that they may not even have done, they may not even have. And that's where the bridge is actually comes from. You believe in Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you believe that God has saved all by the power and our faith in Him. So it doesn't matter what people have done. If they've confessed Christ, then God's forgiven them of sin. And He's also forgiven them of the things that they've done in the past, in their heart, and in their mind. That is actually what we do as Christians. We give people the benefit of the doubt. And we walk with them through their sin and into more righteousness. And we'll get into sanctification in another video. So this is why I want to make this video. is because if you're not able to bridge the two, you're going to be led down the path that will lead you into making people responsible for sins that they never committed. Things that they never maybe even ever thought. And you'll put that onto them and you'll make them responsible for your own sin. For your own projection and for your ideas that lands on them in a flat way and also very much in a discriminatory way as well too. So as you might claim somebody being a racist, you actually will become that yourself and you'll do it in a way that is actually spiritual manipulation. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to do it to other people and I don't want you to be a victim of it as well too. So this is what I want to do. I want to make this video real quick. Today's thing was Christology and I'm going to give, read something here for you. There's more to come and I hope this helps. You need to be encouraged, encouraged to stand and then to stand not only in adversity, which demands courage, you're being demanded courage right now, but also in solidarity, which takes faith. There are more loud voices that are screaming out there that you decide, where are these people coming from? Well, those loud voices on the TV and social media are far outnumbered by the discerning people watching in disbelief and disgust on the couch. You need to find your voice and then find your voice and stand. There's more of you who are questioning and reaching out for just something solid from your leaders. I want to help you do that and I'll help you be a voice. Okay? All right. God bless you. Any questions, hit me up. Don't stress. We're, all, we're going to be in this together. I don't like using that even term, but being in this together means that we're discerning this together. And you and I are discerning something really wrong right now. And whatever is wrong is not equating to people being brought together. It's being more division and more divided. All right? Take care.